We're all pinned down. Pew pew. Pew 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 pew. Pew pew. Obviously, I'm the good guy because I have this gun. All I got here for reinforcements is this dog that won't leave me alone. Pew pew. Pew 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 pew. Shout, shout, shout. Bam, bam, bam. The Zupa. Whammy. Obviously, I'm the bad guy because I have this gun. Well, everything's looking pretty bad. I don't see a way out of this, unless... What's up, guys? Welcome back to Rugged Adventures. Today, we're gonna look at that thing that Hollywood always does, and we're gonna shoot some guns, and we're going to make some stuff catch on fire. But we're gonna look at the ultimate out that anyone who is pinned down ever has ever used in a movie when you're totally, you know, screwed. You don't have any way that you're gonna get out of it. You just find a propane cylinder, put exactly one round into it, and it every time will blow up in a massive fireball and save the day, right? Well, that may or may not be true, and we're gonna look at that today. What we have today, I have a couple of these really large 20-pound uh, gas grill cylinders. These ones here, if you guys can get me 100,000 subscribers, we will light one of these off. We're not gonna do that today because we need a lot more room, and we need uh, like so, some pumps on scene so that we can put out any fires that might start. What we're gonna do is we're gonna shoot a couple of these guys. These are those little uh, typical Coleman gas things that you use for like a stove or uh, like a Mr. Buddy heater that I put on uh, that video about camping in the winter. That runs off of those. Those are, I believe they are one pound. Yeah, they're 16 ounce uh, cylinders, much less uh, for us to have to deal with as far as fire goes, but we'll have, um, you know, fire extinguishers and water and everything. And obviously, as per the usual, we are on my private, uh, totally safe uh, gun range. There's 52 acres of just, uh, you know, shooting and backstop. So we'll, let's get one of these down range. We're going to use the AK-47 with this. And I'm going to show you why, because it has uh, the biggest bullet uh, size that I have, even though it's not the most powerful cartridge that I have right now it is the most powerful size so if you haven't yet be sure to subscribe down below hit the like button so that we can perhaps get a you know 50 BMG in here at some point to be able to really punch some large size holes through stuff uh, until then let's get right into it got a propane cylinder down there uh, sitting up against that tree stump and we are going to uh, shoot it with the AK-47 and the reason I want to do that and I wanted to show you guys the difference out there most of you guys probably know this but the difference in size between an AK-47 and an AR-15 bullet is pretty significant. This one for the AR-15, 5.56 uh, five, five, by 45. This one is a 7.62 by 39. If you guys can see in the camera here, if it focuses on it, this bullet here is much larger in diameter than this bullet over here. So I wanna put the biggest hole in it so we get the most gas out quickly. So uh, let's get this dog out of the way here and then we'll uh, blast this, uh, this propane cylinder just like they do in the movies just hit it with one bullet only and uh, see what happens to it and of course we're in the top gun shirt with uh, top gun 2 coming out uh, so that's pretty cool but let's get after it <clears throat> all right everyone clear one bullet As you can see, not a lot happens with the uh, with, with just shooting it with a bullet because there is no spark, there's no ignition source, there is no way for uh, for anything to catch on fire. So for that to happen in the movies, they either had to be firing incendiary rounds, they had to be firing tracer rounds or something like that, and we're not firing incendiary rounds, uh, YouTube uh, reviewer guy right there. These are just the typical full metal jackets. Or you just had to be putting such a volume of fire in that you're making a bunch of sparks, but just one shot into the uh, propane cylinder isn't going to cause a massive fireball because there just simply isn't enough uh, um, th there isn't an ignition source. So we're going to set this up again with an ignition source, try it out and, uh, and see how it goes. I've done several of these before on this channel and it's usually a bunch of fun. So what we've done is, is we've taken and we've put a, uh, this is a brand new one, taped it to this uh, target stand so it wouldn't go anywhere. And we have a source of ignition right next to it, <laughs> just your typical uh, road flare. And so we're going to reset this camera, we'll get up the hill there, and we'll blast it and uh, watch what happens. You probably get the idea, but it's fun to watch anyway. Let me set this up for the slow-mo. Here we go. We'll shoot this and uh, we'll see what happens with it. All right, going hot. 
GoPro, start recording. I almost forget to do that every time. That took me way too many shots to hit from just way, really freaking close, but uh, those are always a good time. It's gonna look super on the slow-mo, and uh, we got some water down here we can put this out with. Just, uh, we'll get this put out and take a look at it. All right, dudes, let's take a look at it. Uh, obviously, uh, my accuracy from that range with the AK was just absolutely horrible. I'll blame it on the gun, but uh, I must have been shooting uh, high or low because when I ended up hitting it, I believe it was sitting probably like this, and I think I skimmed the top of the container, which is awesome because it blew a gigantic hole in the side of that, and I hope, I hope that you guys can see that because uh, of the way the shade, the shade is like right in the way, but uh, blew a big time hole in it. All the gas comes out real quick, big time fireball. And that is the difference between, uh, between the movies and real life, is if you, are, if you just shoot it once, uh, you're not using any kind of special projectile, there's not already some sort of ignition, it's just gonna vent the cylinder and then it's just gonna leave all that propane sitting on the ground because propane's heavier than air. But if there's some sort of ignition source or you just got a ton of fire coming in and it's making sparks as it hits something or whatever, that is how you end up uh, lighting off these propane cylinders. Uh, definitely do not try this at home. Again, guys, we are on a closed uh, private range where we are able to do this. So just, you know, don't do any of that. But what I would want you to do is hit that subscribe button down below. Hit that like button for me. Uh, leave me your comments down below, uh, you know. <laughs> Tell me about what I'm doing wrong with my accuracy with that AK. I, I just uh, I couldn't believe that it took that many shots to hit, and you guys probably can't either. But hey, that's the way it goes sometimes. I appreciate you guys watching, and I'll see you all in the next one.